Well, well, well. War of Vision is having another collab. Fantastic. Just gives me more opportunity to get free stuff. You see this gorgeous man with this mustache? He's a free unit that you guys can farm for. To be honest, I like him. I like his design. Actually pretty cool. He's from Final Fantasy Tactics. This is our new collab. And there is Sardolphus. Orlandos. That is actually in here. So, I'm pretty sure this is the Thunder God dude from um, Final Fantasy XIV, the Align game, I think. I think that's the one. Yeah, Thunder God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that is him, Sudolphus. Dude, he, he looks so nice. I had the summon for him. Like, there was no way I was going to miss my chance to summon for him. And... I went for it and got lucky. <laughs> on my last pool, I was able to get my hands on him, which was fantastic. I enjoyed that. But I also went ahead and got another thing, which, you know, my first time spending money on the game. And to be honest, you can't miss the opportunity to get this. This is an amazing thing to grab. Grab this. 100%. If you guys have the money, it's only like $8. Grab this. It will be a lifesaver. And if anybody you see inside of Helper has it, grab it. Grab it. <laughs> because it's also, because like I said, it's really good. Once you max this out, it literally doubles your JP come, income. And this is for the whole team. Not just for one person, just the whole team. So this stops at 50% if I remember correctly. And that is actually pretty fantastic as well. It's, it's once you max it out though. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. But overall, that is, that is the only thing I can actually recommend you guys get out. Everything else that's been like package wise has not been all of that good. From what I personally see, for like special deals and things that come in and stuff, I, none of it has looked tempting, really, except for that. If I could buy multiples, I would, just to have like a whole farm team. That would actually be pretty cool. But yeah, that's the only thing I can say is worth it. I wouldn't buy this just because you'll eventually outscale this. Yeah, you'll, you'll eventually outscale this, and it's not really worth grabbing. Unless you're like a new player that's really weak. I also bought one of these, which I'm still, you know, saving up. And I'm actually probably going to buy this as well. Anything Orlando, I want to max out. So I'm going to have a lot of farming to do. Woohoo! And 3 million downloads is also going on as well. If you guys want to get into that. Yeah, everything's so expensive and pricey. Ah, my my freaking gold, bro. Like, can I hold on to anything here? <laughs> what, was that a no? I figured as much. There's also a challenge mission as well. A whole bunch of challenges. I should actually should be doing this, actually. Hold on. Okay, let's make this easy on ourselves and follow what I do. That's one. That's two. Yeah, just... just do this. I'm going to save those just in case they have another Esper mission. Because I'm pretty sure this does go down quite a bit. Yeah, there's two pages. I don't know what's on the second page yet. And I, they're not showing us what's on the second page. <laughs> so I have to also awaken this guy. Which should be fun. But let's go into some quests. Then there was another uh, event that I was saving off to like do with you guys, which was this. <laughs> I just couldn't find the time to actually do it. But we're going to grab this and go on in. Uh, no, Orlando is not like maxed out or anything. Job wise, I still have to go get his material like his freaking um, little job gym. Actually, where is he? At... Yeah, I gotta go grab this and one of these. 
Not a farmable place, so I'm guessing it drops by like shards. Well, not shards. Um, coins. Coins. Yeah, coins. But yeah, don't miss your chance to farm this unit. Like, fully, fully let me break him, then you're just pretty much done with him. You can hold him off as much as you want to awaken him. To be honest, if you don't have Cern, that would probably be the next best dark unit to level up. I mean, even without, you know, even with Cern, I would probably still max him out, to be honest. because that's another extra unit in your pocket and plus you know he has a free sword as well the whole trust weapon so i would say go for that should be able to do this right here right yep get rid of these guys Not sure how his stats are going to go. I just wanted to get him just because he is definitely a favorite character of mine. I love his design and everything about him. <laughs> Man, I hope they, I hope they have his boss in here. Because that would be amazing if they had his boss. Sidolphus. You know, there's a lot of Final Fantasy characters with the name Sid. Now I think about it. Ah, oh, I gotta go all the way up here. Hold up, let me... Where was I? Right here? Let me give... This a Stern. Always give him the crit attack if I can. Just because my Stern isn't maxed yet. So we gotta get a whole bunch of shards for him. As you can see, everybody out speeds Cirque Office for now. Just because, um, what was it? It was the whole relationship thing, the affection system. When they're next to each other, they get extra agility and stuff like that. That's mainly what it is. All these darn trees, man. You're gonna move, aren't you? Ah, uh, yeah, you are. Well, it'd, it'd be a shame if somebody killed you before then. I like how we're just murdering Chocopos for no reason. Never in my life have I seen a Chocopo kill a human. Until now. Now they want to murder me. Usually we just ride them. But now we're... It's on the other side now. We have to murder them all. No, actually, that would have been a good strat. Just aim at Mott. Since he wasn't in range. But I'm definitely going to raise uh, the free unit and Sidolphus and maybe the um, Ramaz, whatever the hell his name is. I might raise him too if I get my hands on him, but I really just want to get um, Sidolphus to uh, like at least limit break three and that would be good enough for me but I'm still gonna be looking for his shards though if I have enough you know crystals to throw at it probably gonna save up from this point on and get all of his shards I'll probably be able to save up like 2,000 to get another one I think 
Sid's stuff does come from a um, shop. From coin shop. Hasn't dropped anywhere else. Oh, his blue comes from here, though. Weirdly enough. Oh, I can reach all the way up there. Uh, we're gonna use blackout. Make sure we kill you. Is anybody up here? I knew it. I say I've been bamboozled a few times about that. Just because they have high ground and just start welling on me. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be working hard on Sid. Can I get up here and... Nope, I cannot aim at you yet. Hey, you. Come fight me. I was say, this is a terrible map for him, though. How can I not hit anything from here? That still puzzles me, but yeah, I can hit you from here. Shouldn't gunners be way better in height? <laughs> Instead of archers just being way better in height? Still pretty weird. Oh, whoops. Ah, well, that's fine. As long as, as, long as it casts fast enough. Hey, you. Be a shame if you ate a rock. God damn it. For the first time ever, you can't reach that man to throw a rock at him. Damn it, Mott, you've you failed me. Right now I don't have a lot of his skills like open. But his range is actually like extremely good on some of his skills of what I from what I looked at. Oh that he actually puts ton of himself as well. Of his ult. Funny enough, he can kill. He can half HP my stern. Darn it, I still can't reach. Die. Then we'll also do the extra dungeons and stuff. Which I'm pretty sure are boss battles. Now can I reach you? Game, please. Let me hit something. Nah, darn, he moved. Ah, right, you get the first hit on me. Alright, dude. Well, I can't reach that guy, too. Ah, darn. He also doesn't have very good movement. So keep that in mind. For some reason... This guy outspeeds me. I was about to say, don't you dare game. Too bad you can't insta-cast a powerful spell, you douche. Okay. 
The other thing is, I've been wanting to get in, get outside of like magic characters, just because I've been carrying around like three magic characters, and it's been like really annoying. That's at least my goal. <laughs> I at least want some more melee characters that can you know be up close and keep at least one mage safe. At least a gunner, you know. My, I think I might give you this. And give him this for now. Oh, looks like they're scrapping in the back. We'll let them handle their own beef. None of my business, you know. <laughs> Yes, I can. I uh, yes, I can. If that was more in the middle, I probably could have hit all of them. Mm -hmm. But then again, my special self always forgets placement. Also, another thing that we've gotten is um, auto retry. So that's fantastic. Can't reach you, can I? Yeah, I figured as much. Ever wanted to see at least one of his attacks, but I think since we took that blade off, gave it to gave him a different one. Probably have less uh, AP. Give him the big slurp. Ah, so you open the door. The AI, smart enough to open the door. Uh, oh, that's shut. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is what type of AI we're dealing with here. <laughs> I'm gonna need you not to add that much HP, okay? Okay. I can't even see anything over there. I missed all the action of that attack. I'm pissed. I'm triggered. I'm tilted. Yeah. Why? How much you totally blind me from seeing things? Well, at least we get a whole bunch of coins. I guess that's good enough too. Feels bad, mate. Claim at least two treasures. Fill all of. Okay. He's easy enough. So yeah, auto repeat is now here. Does it say how much, how many times it goes? I guess it goes until you run out of AP or energy. I mean, don't judge me. You shut your face. Okay, so it didn't say anything about we can't bring a mercenary. And we should widen our horizon and find another one. I'm pretty sure somebody has one that's pretty much finished. Oh, no, not yet. Give it time. Give it time. I'll definitely be there. <laughs> okay, so I got four JP, which means I was gonna get like probably three or two JP from completing it. So let's see if I bring another one. Will it increase it? I'm pretty sure it does. This person is almost done. It actually gives us a pretty decent stats too, so that's another reason to get it. 
like really decent stats. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, dude, that neck. <laughs> neck gang strong with this one. Why oh, does it look like a weird version of Donkey Kong? Never mind. That's that's actually really freaking terrifying. I don't think I like that at all. <sighs> okay. Okay, this guy kind of outspeeds as well. Did I paralyze this thing? Nope. No chance to paralyze. Uh, lag, Lothor, hello. And can it not sit over there, please? I would like it if it would come over here and fight me. Okay, we gotta immobilize at least. So I need my mods right here. Just to make sure that he doesn't hit anybody else. He's not a beast type. Oh wow. That's fine. I'm fine with this. <laughs> that, sir, is a lot of damage. Okay, so it actually didn't increase, so I guess it won't stack. Hmm. Huh. Guess we'll go with the ones you have. Well, that's good to know. So it seems like that's all that's it, right? Yeah, that's all that's it. Make sure to do this for like some um, materials. Like actually really easy. You just kill three chocopos that are in their, and they're like really weak. Really easy. And always make sure to do this just for the extra JP. So, uh, there's another thing that's going on, too, which is this book. And this one's for sword, great sword, and axe. And then there's this, too, for spear, fist, and guns. Which, I don't really care about too much. But you can only do them all three times. So, we're gonna go do those. Actually, what are the requirements for this? Do not hire a mercenary for the axe one. Uh, I'm mostly at the sword, but hey. Let's at least do it without the stuff first. Uh, first things first. Okay, so yeah, we haven't gotten this yet. Huh, I thought should we get it down here? Doesn't seem like it drops anywhere in here. Oh, weird. Weird, weird, weird. So I can only get yellow and purple out of this. This sword also looks like something I should pick up as well.
can at least take one. And the rest of them are going to go into this. Grab all these first, then start grabbing all his. This will be last. Ram will be last. Pretty sure I could probably craft his weapon too. Yeah, I can. Man, it has a little minor stats on it. Still worth picking up if you need a sword. But hey, it's a free sword and it's MR is better than using like one of the weaker swords in here from SR. So I would say, yeah, definitely make it. Hopefully this is assault. Yes, yeah, this is assault. Great. As you can see, there's the stats for it. Now I can just start farming this just for the Awaken. Whoops. See, this would probably be like a good one hour video, maybe. So it is going to go on for 13 days, huh? Seems very worth farming. I can give that sword back to uh, Mott. Okay. So let's see what's all in this map. Oh, this guy's on there. It's pretty tankish. All oh, these guys look like they're pretty tankish. Nice. Nah, then we're gonna grab you, swap. Uh, I think that's fine. At least that should be fine. That's kind of the reason why it's swap that out and let her go over here because she can just hit two this guy's probably gonna store oh wow this guy's gonna be a nuisance I could body slam for some extra attack but I'm probably gonna kill her blade and one shot him I think that would be a smarter choice. I'm off a little bit. I feel like we should regain ourselves. And put ourselves in like a circle. At least we'll be together. Probably should have brought my healer actually. Yep, there's the store. Thought everyone's going to do the same. Or not, or he's just going to straight up punch. Weird. Stone me, rude. Okay. I think I would rather kill this guy, really. I wish I, I kind of wish Body Slam would push him into another person and they would take damage. That'd be kind of dope. Okay, so Ma's gonna deal with them. He has the hate, um, 
vision on. So that shouldn't be too difficult for him. So they're all going to gang up on him. It didn't say anything about um, items, right? Yeah, it didn't say anything about items, so we're good. There we go. Give Stern some uh, crit. Those guys are like really tanky. Let's drain him just in case he decides to melee me again. Ooh, that's not good. Good thing I decided to drain. Yeah, that range is actually really good. Right now, Moth's just over here. Soaking up damage. We can use items, so that's exactly what we're going to use. We're going to use a medium one. Let's see if we can get 20% blind. No blind, but... Oh damn, we can't really do anything. We gotta get some tools. Which can probably get us killed as well. I could back myself out of the corner, but I'm not gonna try and fight him and Stern. I'll give us a little bit of damage. Out there, it's a silence. Alchemist Code is getting a huge update tomorrow as well. So that's something to look forward to. You stop being a little bitch and healing, bro? Like, with the... Big. Die. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I first had imagined. But once we're done with, we're done with everything, we should be good. So we're going to use small potions here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Are these enemies still sitting over here? Oh no, yeah, they're dead. Okay, so I can drain this guy. It wouldn't give me anything though. I should probably poison him if I can. Let's also attack him so he can die. Thankfully Stern will be able to walk right there. Oh, 
Ah, you actually broke from the hate. Whoa, watch your mouth there, sir. How dare you? Not only that, I'm going to show you that this guy has some really good insane stats. Can you target Stern, please? Thank you. <laughs> Not his stats. Um, he has some really good skills that will turn his attack insane. Let's say that. Angelic Blade, huh? Be ashamed if you caught these angelic hands, bitch. Uh, let's hit him with this. And run like a little bitch. My powers are still caged. Oh, no, never mind. He's not silenced anymore. <laughs> Dodge, bitch. Ow. Okay, maybe I didn't dodge that one. I'll say this is her main attack right here. That's gonna be what mainly does her damage. Can I reach? I should be able to reach him, right? Yeah. Both please. Damn, I was hoping for a paralyze. That would definitely take some edge off of us. But the thing is, next turn I should be able to use killing blade. No need to waste potions right now. Did you just run like a little bitch, bro? Like, come back. What's up? You started this beef. I thought you wanted some. <laughs> like, how dare you? Alright, we're just gonna give Stern that then. Yeah, there we go. Killing Blade. Ah, damn. That should be fine, though. That's gonna be a weak heal until I can uh, find something else good. Or at least until I can boost that. Which requires a lot of JP points, just saying. <laughs> uh, this guy, right here. I need him paralyzed, please. For the waste that I mean. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. Everybody's blocking the stairs. You all are fat asses. I'm about to say, I need this guy right here to die, damn it. So I can use sit stuff. Thank you. Thank you for actually finally dying. Actually, wouldn't be a smart idea to leave you right there. Unless I was to go like all the way around, but I just can't be asked. Actually, let's hit once. Now go down here. Not the smartest idea. We're gonna move here. This is your turn. And we're gonna get rid of this guy. Like, that's how hard he's hitting with just, you know, basics. No, um, passives at all. Like, already he's competing with, like, high damagers without. You know, certain things.
Finally. The heck? Oh, I appreciate a game. You did save me from using something. You're out of the lane. And if I can get this sword maxed out and give it to him, ooh boy, that's gonna be fantastic. Or I can get the the free unit sword, but that requires a lot of awakening, a lot of material. So that's why um, I'm just gonna grab the sword first. <laughs> Like, now I have bad rewards here. Now, at this point, I would just put an auto retry and just keep going. Uh, I don't think it hires mercenaries. I just actually wanted to test that out. I don't think it hires mercenaries, though. That's the only sad part. And what I'm talking about that this character is actually really strong, just because he has two attacks passives one attack passive from, from this and this and he also has you know a little bit of tankiness added to him but those passives are thunder god it significantly upped his attacks but lowered his attack resist but you also get this attack increase and evasion rate increase but lowers your defense so I wouldn't say he's a glass cannon since he, you know, has a little bit of tankish going on, but he is a glass cannon. <laughs> but he has HP increase, so that's pretty nice. A little agility, you know, a little bit of stuff there. It actually has more skills that increases his attack and crit if you can get him all the way to awaken. Like, this is why I'm trying to get him to uh, Limit Break 3 just because Limit Break 3 let, allows you to go to 12 and 12 is what you need on Samurai so if you guys can Limit Break him to 3 if it's possible for you if you if you got him early in your summon use all of the rest of it to get his uh, stuff from shop Don't try to summon for his uh, shards. That you will regret that. It's not a guarantee that you'll get it, and plus you'll only get like I'm pretty sure 40 of them if I remember correctly. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now here's his stuff. There it is. I say somewhere his stuff comes from here. Hmm, look at all them delicious rewards. Fantastic. Yeah, when it says clear, it means finish all their little quests, I think, in it. I mean, this is actually worth completing just because you get a lot of um, awakened material. You guys know awakened material is important, obviously. It's very important. Especially in this game. <laughs> okay. So we got this. I don't think we have enough awakened material to bring Griff up. Or Griff. I'm trying to short his name. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have enough yet. I gotta go farm this, that's all it is. But I can limit break him already. Now all I need is this. Which you can farm for. Or oh, I'm pretty sure it has some stuff in shop too. Oh yeah, there was only 10 of them. Everything else had multiple that you could buy, like three of them and stuff. That one only had 10, so I was sitting here like, what the fuck, dude? 
<sighs> that means I gotta go farm this. Fantastic. Okay. So let's go do the last thing. Which is this train quest that you get a free unit off of. And it's also a free unit as well. I can farm her within those days easily, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. Wait, was it 20 or was it uh, 10? Okay, I figured. stats into it. I need attack hammers, not magic hammers. I was going to change weapons. I think this one I'm going to have auto just to see how he performs. I always collect all your free units. Just saying. Any unit that's free is just expanding you way easier. Even if there are they are MRs, it's a lot better than just, you know, having half build MRs compared to fully build Well, half build URs compared to fully build MRs. They can tie you over until you fully build the until you fully build those uh URs. At least that's how I look at it. And so far, Mott has been carrying me a lot. And now that we have auto retry, I can just... Oh boy, I can easily just farm all this stuff. Hopefully you can set how many times you can... Uh, you want to enter. Which I doubt that's a thing. Now yeah, give him the gun blade. Speaking of gun blades, I'm just hoping that, you know, someday Leon will be in this game. The man got the nice banker jacket with the fur on it. Mm. You know, adding Yuffie wouldn't be that bad either, you know? Okay, next. Get some shards out of this. The only thing that sucks is having a limit on your uh, potions, on how many potions you can use, how many ads you can watch for stamina, and how many you can purchase. Like, I understand the whole uh, purchase of stamina and, you know, ads, but the limit of how many potions you can use per day is the thing that really sucks. Also, this really helps me out with uh, building a Thunder team. I'm trying to start building mono teams soon, now that I have a character for each element right now. Or somewhat for each element. Still, water is missing a really good unit. Well, missing a UR unit, let's say that. Every other element has a UR. To the point where I'm just sitting here like, what's the point of water elements if it doesn't have a UR? Might as well just put that as an ice unit. 
or make water units into ice units. And count it as both, both or something. Now, do I put my man all the way on this side? I'm like, what is your beef game? First off, my man's not even built yet. You're over here bullying him. Like, um, we're just gonna put this guy alone. Don't, don't mind him. See, hit and run. Still my HP and run. That's basically what that is. farming to do <laughs> but it also but like I said the auto replay system is definitely gonna have like way more of a this is gonna allow us to have like a really good time with all this because it's out of the alchemist code we've been wanting that for like a longest time because the alchemist code is like so much more linear you can play that game for like hours on end and the reason why is just because they give out a lot of these leaves that re that refuel your um, stamina, or let's say energy, for, if you want to think about it this game. And they don't have any limitations on how many you can use. Thankfully. So I could literally stream that game for like a whole... Probably a 24 hour stream to be honest with the amount of energy I have in that game. But it would just take forever just because, you know, I would have to manual it. Well, manually restart just to finish like quests in my inventory or mission page. Some of them are tedious more than others to where you have to manually play the game just because mandrakes, immortal mandrakes that never die. Always a pain in my ass. I wouldn't be surprised if they made Undead that do this fucking same thing in this game. I'm just hoping it doesn't happen. Please, for the love of God. Okay, there we go. Thank you all for late shots. Well, I'm actually surprised, man. Just a little bit into the game and everybody's probably still re-rolling. That's probably how we got the freaking 3 million downloads. But, if you know more than half of those players are actual players, that's actually a really good milestone, to be honest. Because a lot of people like tactics games. And bitch, did you just use that on one enemy with all those enemies just sitting there? You did. You disgust me. Why would you even do such a thing? Anywho. <laughs> but yeah, that's actually a really, really good milestone. Because everybody did like... A lot of people like the tactics games. Like, come on. Who, who pretty much freaking didn't like the tactics games? Unless you're like one of those people who couldn't play them because you weren't good at them or either they just weren't your thing. That's a different story. But a shit ton of people who played it enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed the hell out of it. That's how I first got into Tactics games just because I played that on like the Game Boy. That was literally my first tactics game ever, and I just fell in love with so many more tactics games. RTSs, man. RTSs. There are many good ones. That's the thing. 
there are not a whole lot of good RTS like gacha games with unique characters and a whole bunch of skills. Which does suck because, you know, the genre could easily be expanded on. I mean, some people can do it right, some people can't. It really depends on who hands. Who hands grabs, you know, RTSs? Because for me, I like gotcha, gotcha game RTSs just because they're all, always going to be expecting a new character. Versus like, you know, an uh, indie game RTS just because I know I would be using a set amount of characters that are crucial to like the story and stuff like that. You see how most of us have gotten into that gacha mindset of, hey, I could only enjoy gacha games just because, you know, a lot of unique characters. <laughs> And I know a new one's gonna be released. Did you just freaking get guts and live? Die! Stop defying death. He'll come for you later. But, yeah, it's easy to get in that mindset once you play a gacha game with like really cool characters and, you know, heroes and stuff like that. Because nobody likes playing like a set amount of story characters after you play a gotcha game because then you just experience it, you know? You experience what it could be and everything you could do. Because every character won't be the same. That's also why I like RPGs, you know? RPGs are actually fun. Are we just murdering this woman? Say no more. I'm into this. <laughs> This is fun. Somebody finish her off. Good job, bot. You've done the deed. You've done the good deed. I ain't getting any shards out of that. Blasphemy. Oh, never mind. Holy shit. The amount of shards, my guy. Oh, it's once a day. Okay, well. <laughs> so is this a dark unit that we I just went through? Uh, ah, I hate that mission isn't over here. Can we add mission to this page over here? It's or somewhere down here. Instead of me just going all the way back to home and just having to, you know, come over here, it's annoying. He is a not oh, well it didn't show. Let's go see what unit she is. Hey, no, nobody told you to go there. Stop it. Okay, so she's an earth unit. Boxer badge, that's all she has. Gives a lot of HP and a little bit of agility and grit. I mean, that's good. Can easily be put up there really fast. From my point of view right now. Let me go ahead and grab this and level up and get a little bit more energy. There we go. Someone also added me. But guys, yeah, that is it. I'm gonna go work on Sid and get him up. I'm gonna work on this character as well. Like I said, work on him. He's a free unit. Don't let this slide by. Free units are worth maxing. Darn it. And some of you guys complain that you're behind and it's too hard. These free units actually are really useful. Especially this guy. He has some really good stuff. Not that crap. But he has this. And attack up. 
So we got two really good damage dealers right now. Don't ever put that on him. <laughs> and he absorbs HP on like a counter. This guy's worth. So he's pretty much like a dark cavalier. Because he's consuming his HP to do all the damage. But he also can life steal as well off his counters. He probably put something else on that too, to be honest. And all his jobs complement each other. And also another thing, he has monk. He can store. He can store up damage and unleash it. Like, think about that. I would go for this job as his secondary or basics. Because once he gets stored, that, that's something you want to hold on to. Probably get you through a lot of stages a lot easier too. But with that said guys, I'm going to end off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.